His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Gdaybiya Palace to review the latest developments in mangrove cultivation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's ongoing implementation of all developmental initiatives, emphasizing the importance of fulfilling the plans to achieve environmental security to support the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness was briefed by the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'il bin Nasr Limbarak, regarding the latest developments in mangrove cultivation in the kingdom. A total of 749,000 mangroves were planted by the end of November this year, achieving 163% of the original goal of 460,000 by the end of 2023. During the meeting, the Kingdom's accomplishments during 2023 in implementing His Royal Highness's directives of a forest station in various governorates across Bahrain were reviewed. These directives are in line with the Kingdom's commitment to achieve a net zero carbon neutrality by 2060 as part of Bahrain's international contribution to combating climate change. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the efforts of the national workforce responsible for the afforestation efforts as the determination to success placed Bahrain's 2023 National Afforestation Plan and Mangrove Cultivation ahead of schedule. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to prioritize initiatives that combat climate change, which is reflected in the implementation of numerous projects and programs. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Timkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 118 of 2023 appointing a director at the Service Civil Bureau CSB based on a proposal by the President of the CSB. The edict stipulates the following. Abdurrahman Abdullah Shomili shall be appointed as the Director of Policy and Regulatory Affairs at the CSB. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also issued Edict 119 of 2023 transferring two directors at the Institute of Public Administration based on a proposal by the President of the Institute of Public Administration. The edict stipulates the following. Article 1, Aida bin Ali Rajab, the Director of Business Development, shall be transferred to be the Director of Consultancy and Research at the Institute. Article 2, Najm Yusuf Isa Salmin, Director of Education and Development, shall be transferred to be the Director of Assessment at the Institute. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of Temkin's Board of Directors. His Highness underscored the importance of continued investment in the national workforce, recognizing them as the cornerstone of development and outlining their key contributions to realizing the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Highness also highlighted the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the national workforce to unlock further potential and drive national progress. The Board of Directors were presented with the accomplishments of Tim Keen's program throughout the year which aimed to advance Bahraini talent across diverse professions and industries. These initiatives helped streamline the integration of newcomers into the labor market by endorsing projects that enhance their training, align their skills with market needs, and help them emerge as the preferred choice of employment. Temkin Chief Executive Maha Mufiz presented the key milestones achieved during 2023, including the empowerment of approximately 23,000 Bahrainis enrolled in individual programs, with 92% of the 12,000 beneficiaries receiving employment support being new participants. Training was provided to approximately 10,700 Bahraini individuals. Temkin supported over 5,100 institutions this year, assisting them in achieving their business objectives, whether for starting businesses or expanding locally and globally. 
In terms of the new bundle of programs recently launched, more than 2,400 applicants were approved by Temkin for employment and career development supported for Bahrainis. Temkin also recently launched an apprenticeship program, marking a significant step in its mission to create opportunities for Bahrainis. The initiative offers professional skills through on-the-job practical training and theoretical training delivered by accredited educational institutes. To enhance awareness of Temkin's new programs among different customer segments, over 300 information sessions were organized. These sessions aim to showcase the newly designed programs focused on fostering employment and professional growth and providing support for enterprises. The board was also briefed on upcoming plans and strategies designed to advance Temkin's initiatives and in accomplishing the goals outlined in its 2024 strategy. The strategy for the upcoming year focuses on economic impact and the private sector structured around three key pillars enhancing economic participation by creating quality employment opportunities for the new entrants expanding career development opportunities for Bahraini employees within the private sector and fostering private sector growth by supporting enterprises increasing productivity and encouraging the adoption of technology in order to enhance economic impact and foster sustainable growth Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the Ministry of Labour held the 38th annual ceremony honouring hardworking and outstanding workers and distinguished establishments in the private sector. At the beginning of the ceremony, the Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for patronising the ceremony and for his keenness on continuing to honour outstanding workers and administrators who contribute to the development process of the Kingdom. The minister affirmed that the ceremony aims to highlight distinguished national energies and competencies as well as encourage establishments to invest in developing national cadres. Hamidan hailed the cooperation between the government, business owners and workers and the solidarity to transform challenges into opportunities as well as the efforts towards establishing principles of social dialogue. The Kingdom is keen on continuously monitoring and developing the workers and establishment sector through several initiatives aimed at consolidating gains and creating an encouraging and motivating environment. Community partnership contributed to achieving qualitative leaps in Bahrain and comprehensive and sustainable development for the benefit of the Kingdom. Following the directives of His Majesty the King and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the distribution of 6,800 housing services to citizens, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning is continuing procedures to distribute housing services to beneficiaries in Salman Town, East Head Town and East Sitra Town projects. Electronic draws for the housing units will continue until the end of February 2024, following the schedule to ensure a rapid and continuous process. The citizens commended the seamless flow of procedures and held detailed explanation by specialized staff about the housing units, requirements and guarantees provided by the ministry, as well as the electronic withdrawal mechanism, types of housing units and contract details provided by the ministry. The Ministry continues its procedures for housing financing solutions through the three categories of the TISHEEL financing. Bahrain International Airport achieved the prestigious Level 1 accreditation in the Accessibility Enhancement Accreditation Program based on existing international best practices and recommendations. The accreditation is a result of BIA's commitment to accessibility through its strategy as well as policies and initiatives that prioritize the safety, well-being and inclusivity of passengers and visitors with disabilities. The accreditation reiterates the airport's ongoing long-term dedication to prioritize accessibility and inclusivity to all passengers and visitors at BIA through various initiatives. The recognition is in light of the recent launch of the We See You initiative to enhance the travel experience for individuals with hidden disabilities, ensuring their needs are recognized, understood and supported throughout their journey.